Today is a special day. It's Remembrance Day. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, people all around the world stop what they are doing to be silent for two minutes to remember all those whose lives have been affected by conflict and particularly those who have died. First Remembrance Day was held on the 11th of November 1919 to honour the lives of the soldiers, sailors and airmen who died fighting in the First World War. Today, over a hundred years later, Remembrance Day is still about all the people whose lives have been affected. We hope that by remembering the horrors of war and those who are affected by conflict, we understand the importance of peace. Well, how do you do, young Willie McBride? Do you mind if I sit here down by your graveside and rest for a while neath the warm summer sun I've been walking all day and I'm nearly done I can see by your gravestone you were only 19 when you joined the great fallen in 1916 well, I hope you died well, and I hope you died clean. Or young Willie McBride, was it slow and obscene? Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the fife slowly? Did they sound the death march as they lowered you down? Did the band play the last post and chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? Did you leave there a wife or a sweetheart behind? In some faithful heart is your memory enshrined? Although you died back in 1916 In that faithful heart are you forever 19? Or are you a stranger without even a name? And close them forever behind the glass pane Did the band play the last post and chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? Well, the sun now it shines on the green fields of France. There's a warm summer breeze that makes the red poppies dance. And see how the sun shines from under the clouds There's no gas, no barbed wire, there's no guns far enough But here in this graveyard it's still no man's land The countless white crosses stand mute in the sand
my young Willie McBride, I can't help wonder why. Do those that lie here know why did they die? And did they believe when they answered the call? Did they really believe that this war could end wars? Well, the sorrow, the suffering, the glory, the pain, the killing and dying were all done in vain. For young Willie McBride, it's all As they lowered you down And did the band play the last post and chorus Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest They stretched in a severely burned man. At first, I didn't recognize him. Just a few years before, we were best friends in the playground. Now, he was an injured soldier, and I was his nurse. He told the doctor it would be better if he disappeared. He said he couldn't tell his family what had happened. This man had given up his fight. For weeks, we sat together. I talked to him, I listened. Finally, he agreed to return with me to our village, where he was welcomed home. Day is a day when we respect the service and sacrifice given. Reflect on the horrors of war and conflicts past and present, remembering there are deaths on all sides during a conflict and untold suffering afterwards, reminding ourselves of the freedoms and human rights that we are fought for. Finally, it is a day of thinking of the importance of peace. War is the costliest way to solve problems. We need to remember that there were other options prior to the outbreaks of war in the past and recommit ourselves to supporting peaceful solutions instead of resorting to conflict. Taking part in remembrance, it reminds us of the ongoing confrontations, hostilities and tensions that still occur daily around the world and the problems they cause as a result. Eleanor Roosevelt said, It isn't enough to talk about peace, one must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it, one must work at it.